for those who are je aspirants every student has his or her ability to perform and to prepare the right time however for a student to prepare for je will be ninth class well students as late as 11th class can also do well in je main and je advanced but here when i say ninth class there are a lot of things lot of concepts which are required even of 9th and 10th class which will help students perform well in their 11th and 12th class here students can also appear or take up several other exams which i generally call them as milestones to gauge their preparation while in 9th 10th 11th and 12th so here a lot of concepts of 9th and 10th and 10th class science are relevant in 11th and 12th je preparation So if a student is preparing starting from class 9 he or she will be able to perform even in other competitive exams like NTSC junior level olympiads junior science olympiads even in KVPY in 11th class and so on before taking up JE main and JE advanced so here 9th is the optimum or the right time for a student to start preparing for the joint entrance examination The best way to prepare for the JE computer based tests is to take several mock tests actually before the JE exam. Now when I say mock test, the mock test must be from reputed sources giving you actual feel of the paper, giving you the actual level of question which are going to come. They must contain previous years papers as well. You should know the complete syllabi. The mock test should be designed on the actual platforms of the JE main exam. so that you get hands on experience with the screen as well as the kind of questions how they appear even on the je main website there are sample papers of previous years which could be could, could be taken as a reference before taking up the actual je online exam when it comes to strategy in je preparation the strategies could be short term or long term here depends upon the aspirant what kind of rank he or she aspires to get Now, when a student is preparing on a short term basis students should have had a good understanding of all the concepts complete coverage of the syllabi but however a long term strategy is recommended because a short term strategy may give you a selection but may not give you a desired rank so a long term strategy will be beneficial not just in the preparation of je even beyond that your student can also aspire to qualify in various olympiads beyond the je exams also can clear various competitive exams while preparing in 11th 12th class so here a long term strategy is recommended and through a guided material guided source a study material which is able to give a student ample exposure to the quality of questions coverage of all the concepts relevant to the je main and je advanced exam while a student is preparing for je the student will be studying subjects like physics chemistry and mathematics here a student's interest in a particular subject will be very vital let's say for example a student is interested in mathematics a student can devote too much time on problem solving for physics it's the concepts which a student has to build chemistry remembering all the named reactions and the other reactions so here i would suggest When a student is preparing for JE main or JE advanced in especially in physics chemistry and mathematics they should start preparing notes relevant to every chapter for a particular chapter when they are solving questions they must underline the important concepts keep them ready or i'll say handy when you know revising later they should solve problems gradually starting from the ncert level to the actual levels of JE advanced Every problem is to be thought given a thought when attempting just not for the sake of the answer but also to understand the concepts because it's in actual JE advance it is the intermingling of concepts which is going to make the question tricky because in JE advance a student may expect questions from two or more concepts clubbed together and here if a student would have just prepared on a learning by rote concept he or she may not be able to get the question right So here I advise students should focus on concept building solving quality questions and in physics building the concepts free body diagrams in various in you can say various topics of physics chemistry named reactions of chemistry should be well versed students must be well versed in all these reactions in mathematics I'll like to suggest students when they are solving calculus questions 
They should try to solve by the visual approach, graphical method, as well as in, in coordinate geometry, a lot of emphasis should be given to diagrams. When you're solving questions of coordinate geometry, try to draw the diagrams and then crack the questions. Here, your visual approach will add on to your concept building and you will be able to solve questions in a much faster way. So my recommendation to students is to give ample time while you're preparing for J and J Advance on building concepts. While you are preparing for J Main or J Advance, it's very important that you select the right study material. A study material from a reputed source is advisable. Just depending on NCRT may not help you fetch a good rank in J Main or J Advance. NCRT books are really good for boards. They may add on to your concepts, but when it comes to problem solving, you need to add on to your study material. The study material must be comprehensive, a right blend of concepts plus coverage of various intermingling of concepts. And these kind of questions may not be rightly available in the NCRT books. So here you must also see what kind of questions have already appeared in the previous year's papers. So a previous year's archive is advisable. At least 10 to 15 years of archive will help you know the actual level of questions which have come in these exams. And practicing from these reputed sources, archives and reputed sources will help you gain more confidence while taking the J Main J Advanced exams. While a student is preparing for JE, you must ensure to make notes side by side and these notes should be crisp, handy so that whenever you wish to revise, you can refer to your own notes because these notes prepared by your own handwriting will help you grasp faster. Ready-made notes are though available in the market. Over here, I recommend you to make notes while you're preparing. These notes will help you understand your weaker areas. Your weaker areas may differ from somebody else's weaker areas. You may be good at certain concepts, you may be weak in the other, but here your notes should be crisp. And one more thing when you are preparing notes, mark those important questions which you couldn't attempt in the very first attempt. So here you needed help. So those questions will become all the more important for you. So you must make notes, also keep those important questions ready where you took a lot of time while you were attempting them for the first time. So these questions will add on to your concepts and these notes must be prepared chapter wise, kept ready and while you're taking even the mock test or even the actual J Main or J Advance, you must refer to your own notes before taking the actual paper. When a student is preparing in Hindi medium, he or she might face difficulties while preparing. However, the previous year's questions may be available on reputed sources in the Hindi medium mode as well because these exams are held in both the mediums. Previous year's questions of these exams may be referred to while your preparation for J and J advanced. You may refer, you may take help, added guidance from your teachers of the relevant subjects from, ex, from reputed institutions where they could explain to you different questions if you have referred to them in the English medium mode. However, previous year's questions are available in both the modes. So students need not worry, even if they are from the Hindi medium backgrounds.